President Buhari discussing with APC National Chairman Chief John Odegio Yagun at the NEC meeting in Abuja on Monday. President Muhammadu Buhari has called on the leaders of the ruling All Progressives Congress to remain united and continue to work together to sanitize Nigeria's political environment. President made the remarks Monday at the party's National Executive Committee meeting where the report of the National Executive Technical Committee was submitted. In his remarks, he reiterated his call that the party should strengthen internal democracy by organizing congresses and convention where election of its officers would be held. He argued that this would automatically end the cases filed by members seeking orders of court compelling the party to hold its congresses. He also said he believes the current executives should be free to buy four elective positions in the party if they so wish as permitted by its constitution. Below is the full text of the remarks made by President Buhari on the report submitted by the APC National Executive Technical Committee on Monday. I am delighted to welcome you all to this very important meeting in the affairs of our party and our country. I want to specifically thank members of the Technical Committee for a job well done within the limited time frame. Point two. It shows a great sense of commitment to the ideals of our party with a view to consolidating and positioning the party to continue delivering good governance in the overall interest of Nigerians.3. With the present state of the party and based on the report submitted by the technical committee, it is important to focus on how to move the party forward by avoiding actions detrimental to the interest of the party. Considering that politics is a game of numbers, we must not be a house divided against itself and must try to note, appreciate and accommodate our differences as far as the law permits. Point four. Upon my review of the report, my position is to ensure that the party toes the path of unity, legality and cohesion and not that of division. Point five. Therefore, I am stressing that we should strengthen our internal democracy by organizing the party's congresses and convention where election of National Executive Committee members would be held. This will automatically end the cases filed by members seeking orders of court compelling the party to hold its congresses. Point six. I also believe that the current executives should be free to buy four elective positions in the party if they so wish as permitted by our party constitution. Point seven. However, considering the provision of Article 31 -1 -E of the APC Constitution which requires any serving officer desirous of seeking re-election to resign from office 30 days before election, I am not sure of the practicality of present serving officer's ability to meet this condition. Point eight. Accordingly, the party may consider granting waivers to party executives at all levels so that they are not disenfranchised from participating in the elections should they wish to do so, provided this does not violate our rules. Point nine. Necessary waivers should also be extended to executives at the ward level whose tenures may have elapsed, and indeed to anyone knocking at our doors from other political parties. This is in the spirit of the right to freedom of association guaranteed by the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as amended. Point one zero. In this circumstance, the party should officially issue a statement on the above waivers so that our house may be full. We all must not be ignorant of the times, and the journey that is ahead of us. Point one one. Just like our party symbol, the broom, which typifies strength and unity, let us strive to remain united in our purpose. Victory is sure by the grace of God, and together we must continue to sanitize Nigeria's political environment. Point one two. Once again, I welcome you all to this meeting with the hope that we will, in our deliberations today, conduct ourselves without rancor and promote the highest interest of the party and the nation.